Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So it's a relaxing weekend day and it's actually Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada. I know that for my American friends, your Thanksgiving is coming up at the end of November. So um, if you're vegan, then you know what Tofurky is. Um, it's a brand of plant-based turkey replacement. They make slices, deli slices. They also make a roast, one of which is stuffed, um, but then one that's not. And I have bought it before. I do like it. I love their deli slices, but it's hard to find here on the island where I am for some reason. Anyways, I was watching this YouTube channel and I'll link it. I'll put the name down below here. And he made a homemade tofurkey that he swears is better than the original tofurkey. So I've got his recipe here. I've not tried this before. We're going to try it together. I'm going to only going to make two, one substitution and one addition to his recipe. And I'll show you what those are. Um, so I'm not going to link the recipe, detail recipe down below. I will link his video so that you can go there for his recipe, because again, this is not my recipe. But I, I'm just thinking that for those of us who are vegan, those, those of us who are plant-based, having an option to make something like this at home could be really uh, useful and save so much money. And uh, you know, the original tofurkey is quite salty as well. So this is a really, looks like a really easy recipe, she said famously. So uh, we're gonna give it a try. Now let me show you what the ingredients are and then we'll get to making it. Hi. She's mad because I rearranged the living room. I took out the ottoman that was there and moved the coffee table over there. And I'm gonna donate the ottoman because really I don't use it except to store stuff that doesn't need to be in there. And this opens up the space so much better. And then I can use this space to do my yoga, which could be really useful. But Sophie is like her mama. She doesn't like change. Right, ingredients for our homemade, better than the original, Tofurky. Uh, you need a food processor. He uses a food processor. I'm not sure. Sophie's playing with her toy. You'll have to ignore that bell sound in the background. I don't think this would work with anything else. I think you need a food processor. Um, some vital wheat gluten. There is no substitution. You need vital wheat gluten. So for uh, my friends who are gluten-free, I'm sorry, this isn't your recipe. Now, he uses better than bouillon uh, chicken, uh, chickenless chicken bouillon. I don't have that. So I'm going to use this uh, vegan chicken powdered bouillon. Half a block of firm tofu, some garlic powder, some onion powder. And here's where I'm going to add a little bit of poultry seasoning. I think that that will help it. And then you need parchment paper and tin foil. And you're going to preheat your oven to, um, is it 400 degrees? 350. Preheat your oven to 350. Okay, I think this is how we're gonna do it so that you can see what's going on in the food processor. So the first thing we're gonna do is add uh, a cup of vital wheat gluten. Again, this is not um, gluten-free and there is no way to make it gluten-free because the vital wheat gluten is what gives it the meaty texture. And did you know that seitan, which is the uh, quote unquote wheat meat that uh, so many vegans use. Uh, it was first invented by Buddhist monks. I think they were Buddhist monks, but monks. And they who are vegetarian and they were the ones who invented it. So it's not something new. It's weird vegan food to those of you who aren't vegan, but it's not something new. All right, so we've got a cup of the vital wheat gluten and then half a block of firm tofu. He didn't say to, um, press it. So I haven't. I've just lightly squeezed off the moisture. I'm just going to break it up in there to make it easier to blend. All right. Sophie is still playing with her toy. Okay. Now then we add our seasoning. We're going to add one teaspoon of garlic powder. Oops. 
one teaspoon of onion powder. This is my addition, one teaspoon of poultry seasoning. And then one teaspoon of the either better than bouillon, which is what he used, or I'm just gonna use this. And this will add the salt into the mixture. Okay, and then you are to get some water. So I'm just gonna have half a cup of water ready and we're just gonna add a quarter cup. Well, get rid of that. We're gonna add a quarter cup. We're gonna add a quarter cup of water to the mixture. And more if necessary. All right. So here goes, and we're just going, we're going to um, process it for about 30 seconds, then scrape the sides. Now, we're gonna add, scrape the sides and then add uh, a little bit of water at a time, a tablespoon or so at a time, to try and get this to form a dough. About a tablespoon worth. And we'll keep processing until we get a dough ball. Now it's starting to form into, form into a dough ball, but it doesn't look as blended as his does did. Uh, he had a bigger processor, so. We have a tiny bit more water. So now, oops, knead it a little and then we wrap it. So I'm not sure if that's done properly, but I'm going to get my parchment paper and my tinfo already. We want a big enough piece to wrap the log about three times. So I don't know, I'd say that's about 18 inches-ish. And the same size of tinfoil. Okay, so we're gonna set the tinfoil and that aside. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of the flour down because we are going to need that just a little bit. It's going to be sticky, he says, until uh, as and as and then it will firm up as you need it, is what he says. So I don't know. I don't know, guys. What we're doing is activating the gluten. Until it becomes quite a dense springy sort of a ball this much I know because I've made seitan before I don't know <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work but it's a fun experiment and what else have we got to do on a lazy weekend day right what else we got to do Better preheat my oven. <laughs> All right, the oven is preheated. I almost forgot. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be, I think it might be a little soft. So I'm just gonna add more flour here, more vital wheat gluten, just to, maybe I added too much. 
water, but it wouldn't process without me adding more water. <sighs> well, we're gonna call that done. All right, so let me just wash my hands. He did show a trick for doing this that I am going to follow. So I'm not sure if this, I'm not sure if this is going to be, maybe, hold on. Oh my God. Let's roll this out a little bit more. Okay, now let's try it. Okay. So he suggested pulling back, like pulling back on this to try and get a nice tight like little log okay and then rolling it and then twisting okay so have a little log and now we do the same with the tin foil he said shiny side up so what I'm going to do. I'm going to put back a little bit again. And then twist these up nice and tight. Okay. So we have our very thin <laughs> tofurkey roll. Um, which is great for deli slices. I think it will expand a bit. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the oven. Let's put this inside down. And you put it in the oven for one hour and 15 minutes at 350. And then pull it out and allow it to cool before taking the wrapper off. At least cool a bit so you can handle it. So that's what we're going to do. And I will see you back here when that is out of the oven and cooled up enough, cooled off enough for us to unwrap. I have zero idea if that's going to be any good. But you and I are going on this adventure together. Okay. <laughs> I just took it out of the oven. And, well, I don't think I wrapped it properly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to look like this. Let me just show you what this looks like. <laughs> it, it, look, it looks like a bike. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so I have no idea what it's like inside. I'm just going to let it cool off. And I'm assuming I'll have to cut the ends off. But I mean, it looks ridiculous. But... Um, <laughs> it's amusing as hell and maybe it'll taste delicious as long as it tastes good I don't really care what it looks like when it comes out of the oven um I think obviously I didn't wrap the ends very well or properly I didn't use nearly enough tin foil so anyways I'm letting it cool and then I'll come back when it's cool enough to unwrap and have a look at so let's uh <laughs> let's unwrap this Hmm. I can even reuse that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to be. This looks... Yeah. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be... A hell of a lot denser now. The paper is sticking. Okay. I don't know. He made it look so easy. There's, 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 it's, it's, it's loose. <laughs> it's loose. The paper is stuck to the outside. Okay, I'm just gonna peel off this outside piece. Oh, I'll get a smaller, a smaller little knife and see if we can salvage anything here. Uh, I, I, I just, 
really don't know what to say about this, but wow, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well, now, wait a second, this might be interesting. Nope. <laughs> nope. Doesn't taste like chicken. Doesn't taste like tofurkey. Or I guess it doesn't taste like turkey. It doesn't taste like tofurkey. I, I like the stringy texture. It kind of is meaty. But. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Kind of tastes like nothing, actually. I mean, I think what I'm going to try and do is pull it into pieces like shredded chicken and maybe season them and fry them with some barbecue sauce or something. But make, like, I don't know, pulled chicken? I don't know. I don't know. I'd hate to waste it. But that did not work out for me at all. And so, what have we learned? <laughs> what have we learned from this exercise? No, I'm sure that the reason this didn't turn out has more to do with me than it does with the original recipe and creator. I want you guys to go over there and look at his video and follow his instructions. I may do this one more time. Maybe when I've stopped laughing. We'll see. But, uh, and if I do, I will let you guys know in, a, in another video down the road. In the meantime, I will just stick with looking for and finding the tofurkey roasts. Because they are good. And they make a great uh, substitute for like Thanksgiving dinner. Christmas dinner, if you slice it up thick and you put gravy on it with your mashed potatoes, it's delicious. Um, I was just kind of hoping to make something at home since it's hard to find here on the island. Yeah. Um, yeah, I knew as soon as I pulled that sucker out of the, <laughs> out of the oven that it wasn't supposed to look like that and that I had done something wrong. So I don't know what I did wrong. Did I add too much water? Did I need a bigger food processor? Should I have just done half a recipe? I certainly didn't wrap it properly. And I think that made a difference. So it was allowed to expand versus uh, stay nice and tight and maybe get denser. Probably that had to, something to do with it. But anyways. <laughs> so that, my friends, that is my test run on making homemade tofurkey. His recipes are amazing, by the way. I have tried multiple other recipes of his, and they're great. So that's why I'm certain this is a me problem, not a him and his recipe problem. It's definitely me. So if you have tried this recipe or a different recipe like that, uh, let me know. If you've got a recipe that, that you found for making this, let me know. I have nothing else to say except... Uh, that I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're staying safe. Remember, in a world where you can be anything, laugh at your food and be kind. I love you and I'll see you next time.